Good morning and welcome to another day of a year of miracles. And today we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 300, 347. And today's lesson is anger must come from judgment. Judgment is the weapon I would use against myself to keep the miracle away from me. Father, I want what goes against my will and do not want what is my will to have. Straighten my mind, my Father. It is sick, but you have offered freedom and I choose to claim your gift today. And so I give all judgment to the one you gave me to judge for me. He sees what I behold, and yet he knows the truth. He looks on pain, and yet he understands it is not real. And in his understanding, it is healed. He gives the miracles my dreams would hide from my awareness. Let him judge today. I do not know my will but he is sure it is your own and he will speak for me and call your miracles to come to me. Listen today, be very still and hear the gentle voice for God, assuring you that he has judged you as the son he loves. And that's it. That's our lesson for today. And if it sounds familiar, it is. Course in Miracles has a way of repeating the same lessons over and over and over and over and over again in a hundred different ways until we get it, right? And that's what today's lesson is once again. It's saying there is something that you are connected to that is greater than that small separated ego mind that you keep listening to. And it's there for you all the time to connect to, to align with, right? And it has all of the answers that you need to know, right? All of the answers to bring you joy, to bring you happiness, to bring you peace. And for some reason, your mind still wants to go chasing after that ego thought and align with that, right? And that's why today's lesson is saying, straighten my mind, Father, it is sick, right? Because that part of our mind that wants to align with the ego is a sick mind, right? It doesn't know the truth about what you are, what we are, right? What the collective I am that we are all connected to. That's the truth about what we all are, right? And so today's lesson is saying, let me listen to that voice today, that voice for that one mind that assures me that that one mind has judged me as the son he loves, right? Because we are all connected to that one mind. And it's just saying, listen, just listen today. Try not to react with your ego voice, right? Instead, quiet your mind, plug in, connect to source, and listen, because the truth is there, and the truth will set you free in so many ways, right? And if you just listen to that voice today, it will bring miracles into your life that are hiding the true awareness from you of the truth about who and what you are, right? So align with that one mind today by listening, by quieting the ego voice. Just mm, say no to that ego voice that wants to spew out all of those fear-based thoughts, right? Because that's creating your reality. We don't really want that, right? We don't want to create our reality from fear because we're just going to attract more of that. And we're done with that, right? We're done with living that kind of life. We are done with living a fear-based life. We are ready to consciously create the life of our most desirable dreams, right? Why not? Why wouldn't you want to live the life of your dreams? 
live your happiest, most successful, most abundant life. And it's all there for you. Just have to shh, quiet that ego voice, quiet that ego mind, and listen. And that's our lesson for today. See how that works for you? Anger must come from judgment. Judgment is the weapon, the weapon I would use against myself to keep the miracle away from me, right? So anytime you are in that mindset of wanting to judge or be angry, right? Remember, you're using a weapon against yourself to keep the miracles away. We don't want to do that. We want happiness and miracles and joy and love in our life. So today, keep that anger at bay and align with the truth about who and what you are with that one mind of love. And that is it. That is our lesson for today. On Friday the 13th, woohoo, right? TGIF. Hi, everyone. Great to see you here this morning. Thanks for jumping on the live feed. Good morning, Cheryl. Great to see you here. Hey, Colette. Nice to see you this morning. So many of you. I have to give you credit. My gosh, you guys show up here every single day. Wow. Or at least almost every single day. What a great commitment, right? What are we on? 347. Guys have shown up 347 days on this journey starting January 1st. Yay, give everybody a big round of applause for all of this commitment. And also for you who are just joining today, right? Because you see the commitment and you see that people are changing their lives and they're creating happiness and miracles are natural occurrences that happen. And that's what this whole year has been about is understanding that A Course in Miracles are the miracles that naturally occur every day in your life. And it's just a change of mindset, right? Just a shift, right? From fear to love. And that's what we've been doing all year long. We've got a few more, a couple more weeks to go of doing this. So yay, stay with it. We're almost there. Good morning, Alicia. Nice to see you here. Hey, Pam, great to see you. Yes, Colette, good morning. All you beautiful souls. We've created such a great community here too. Great to see all of you here. Hi, honey. Nice to see you on the live feed. Good morning, Sandy. Great to see you. Yes, happy Friday, Pam. So great. Oh, good morning, Sandy. Good to see you there. Hey, Tony. Nice to see you this morning on the live feed. Hey, Barb. Good to see you here. Claiming all correction of perception. Your will is mine. Your gentle will of love. That's right, Vera. Right? And who is you? Right? You are me and I am you and we are all that one mind of God that we share. Right? So great to see all of you here. Hey, Dan, nice to see you here on the live feed. Thank you so much, Dan. Great for, great to have you here this morning and joining in our Course in Miracles that we have been doing. Uh, good morning, Kim. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. And Merry Christmas to you too. It's great to have you join on the live feed. And uh, I love everything that you're doing here too to create community and to bring all these people together. And you know, that's what it's about, right? It's creating community, being here, sharing the experience. And really, what is our only function? Happiness. Really, happiness is your only function. We just have to get through all of this other stuff that keeps us from claiming happiness for ourselves, right? It took me years, I'm telling you, years, to find out that happiness was my only function. I, like, it was such a foreign thought. I'm like, really, happiness? Like, I have to survive, I have to struggle, I have to do all this stuff. I don't have time for happiness. And it was like, oh, right, we're here to, to be happy, right? We forget that. We get so caught up in all of it that we forget to find the joy in every day that bit of happiness that makes our heart smile so that we can share that with others, right? Because when we're consumed with fear-based thoughts and anxiety, we don't have anything to give. We have nothing to share with our brothers. We don't want to share anxiety and fear because that's just going to bring everybody else down too, right? So that's why we do these lessons to understand that we have a choice. We can choose happiness at every moment. We can choose love instead of fear. We can have miracles in our life every day. Yes, Sandy, Friday the 13th. Woo! Uh, thanks. I'm glad that they were helpful to you. Hey, Mike. Hey, neighbor. Good to see you here this morning. 
Hi, Tupac. Nice to see you on the live feed this morning. Good morning, Greg. Always great to see you here on the live feeds. So we're in A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 347. And if you feel that little stab of anger today kind of bubbling up, remember it's the weapon that you would use against yourself. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to use that anger as a weapon against yourself to keep the miracle away from you? You have another thought. You have a choice instead to choose love. So don't let that anger out today, right? Zip it. Let it stay in there until you can connect to that one mind of love where the real answers are, right? And it's not about burying your anger and denying it. It's, we're not saying that. What we're saying is connect to that place of love, that one mind, and listen to the voice that we all share because the real answer to whatever situations are happening in your life, the real answer is there and it will come to you. You have to let it go completely though. You can't hold on to any little tiny bit of it or you will still be aligning with fear. So the, the whole clue is let go my ego, right? Let go of that anger completely. You know, say to the universe, to God, to your, your one mind that is within you, I don't know the answer to this situation, to this problem. I let go of it today completely. I give it to you, to myself, to my higher self, to answer, and I let it go. And then you really have to let it go, like just forget about it. And go on your way, but quiet your mind. There's the key, right? Quiet your mind and then boom, the answer comes. And you're like, oh, that is exactly the right answer. That's exactly what I need to do to resolve this situation. So that's it. That is our lesson for today. Hey, Dan, great to see you here this morning. Hey, Lori, good to see you join. You're right. A anger held creates dis-ease disease. You're right, Greg. Release it and choose only love. And that is our lesson for today. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday the 13th. I hope you guys are doing something to bring yourself some joy today, right? Self-care is necessary every day, every moment, right? So that you have something to share with the world and with your brothers. So enjoy your day and I will be back again tomorrow morning with our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning. Until then, enjoy this lesson and happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for joining. All right, bye guys.